I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Lie spotting is a modern skill of deception detection. I wrote this book for three reasons. First of all, I discovered this incredibly robust, well-funded field known as deception detection. I really wanted to bring this information to everyday people, to anyone who wanted to get to the truth. Why shouldn't everyday people know, for example, that liars freeze their upper body? Why shouldn't everyday people know how to spot a fake smile a mile away? Why shouldn't business people know how to baseline someone? Why shouldn't everyday people know how to read someone a little bit more carefully, listen more carefully, observe behavior carefully, get closer to the truth. Second reason I wrote this book is I think we have a deception epidemic going on in our society. You've probably been lied to at least 25 times today and some researchers would say up to 200. The third reason I wrote this book is I think we need to get much closer to each other face to face. We're spending so much time updating our Facebook friends, tweeting and texting snippets of information and interpreting them out of context. I think it's time to open up the door, walk down the hall, and actually shake the hand of the person you're doing business with. Now there are a number of reasons for our sorry lie detection skills. One of them's kind of a good reason. We have a truth bias as Americans. We grow up thinking if someone tells us, oh, I sent that report last week, we grow up thinking they're telling the truth. The second reason why we're not very good lie detectors is that we have a learning curve challenge. Unlike in tennis where you serve a ball and you find out immediately if it's in the court or out of the court and you adjust your behavior accordingly, with lie detection, you never find out a lie's distinguishing characteristics until much later. You rarely know on the spot that someone's lying. In my book, I'm less concerned with white lies and much more concerned with the high stakes lies that influence important choices like who to do deals with, what to buy, where to locate, who to vote for. But white lies do matter. They matter because they're social lubricants in our society. We'd all kill each other, of course, if we were completely honest. And they also matter because sometimes we're a little bit lazy. Sometimes we don't quite tell the truth because it's just easier to tell that white lie. I have two pieces of advice for people who want to become lie spotters. One, buy the book Lie Spotting because the research is fascinating that's in the book. And the five-step method, the basic method for getting to the truth quickly, is very easy to learn. But the second piece of advice I have is more serious, which is that you have to understand why you want to be a lie spotter. It's not just about being the nitpicky kid in the back of the room that says, gotcha, gotcha, there's another lie. It's not about figuring out when someone's eyebrow twitched. It's really about getting to the truth and building trust, getting beyond lie spotting. Deception is serious business. Last year we saw $997 billion in corporate fraud alone in the United States. That's an eyelash under a trillion dollars. Deception is dangerous to business, it's dangerous to our country. It's not particularly good for preserving family harmony. And when you tell a lie, you do your part to undermine trust in our society. I wrote this book because I think we have a deception epidemic underway and I wanted to do my part to shine a light on it.